So here's a customer request that I got today um, showing a CAD file that has some control points listed on it. So basically the customer called me up today and said, hey, I got this CAD file. Um, the person who sent it said the control points are in the CAD file and he didn't provide them with a separate uh, CSV or text file of the control to start the job. So, um, so I brought the CAD file in to take a look at it and see what we got. So if we zoom in here, um, you can see that what he's talking about. So here's control point 183, um, elevation of 24.25, and it's in looks like an iron rod that is set. So it looks like there's a couple of those. And if I check the properties, right click properties on this, it's going to tell me what layer it's on. So over here, it's on zero control layer. So what I can do is if I wanted to isolate this, I'll come over here, turn off all my layers and turn on the zero control layer and you can see there's six points and a possible benchmark over here. So looking at the list, the way that I would create these points so I can get them in my data collector, um, I can use the create point command. So 181 looks to be the first point or 180 looks to be the first point. So I'm gonna come up to my, my CAD tab up on the ribbon and hit create point and it's gonna default to point ID number one so I'm gonna type in 180 that's gonna be my first point and you'll see that I have a layer that's selected so on my project template I have a, a, a by default I have a points layer um, but I have created also a points control layer for myself so that I can keep things separated and organized a little better so this little yellow dot means that this layer is turned off so what I'm gonna do is just come over here and turn that layer on so essentially what I'm going to do is create these new points starting at point number 180 on this layer and I can put in a feature code here if I want of IRCS is what the designer called it so I'll just call it that and I'm going to click in the northing box and it's going to give me my crosshairs and if I zoom in based on what my snaps are you can see I have a little green circle around that point so once it lights up I click it it gives me the northing, it gives me the easting, and it also grabs that elevation of 2371. So I'm going to hit add, and it creates the point number 180, and it'll go now up to point 181. So I'll move my cursor over to 181, put it in the box here, click it, hit add, find point number 182, zoom in on that center point. Hit add. This one's 185, so let's go up to 183. Hit add. Zoom out, find 184. Click add. And 185. And click add. So essentially, I've created those points just by clicking on the CAD line work that's there. So what I can do is close out of that create point command and now if I want to I can get rid of that zero control layer and just see my control points that I'm going to need to set this project up. So what I want to do now is make a CSV of these points so that they're going to go into SCS 900. So I'm going to go to the project tab up on top of my ribbon and I'm going to hit the export command and it's going to say well what do I want to export so I'm on the custom tab over here and I want point northing easting elevation code so it's going to ask me to select the data put my cursor in here and I can make a window around the data and I'm going to say where do I want this to go so I'm going to hit the little button here for the three dots it's going to browse out to where do I want to save this so I'm going to go to my removable disk I have a USB stick plugged into my computer so I'm going to change the name of this I'm going to call this uh, Champions Club which is the name of this project and this happens to be phase 6 so we'll just call this phase 6 and I am put in control so I can find it easy when I save it to my stick hit save and then I come down here and hit export 
So now I'll just go down into my windows. I'm going to open up my removable disk and you can see there's the CSV, right? So that's what I'm going to need to bring that into SCS 900. So I also need my other two files. So what I'll do is I'll grab the DXF and the TTM and I'm going to copy those also onto the USB stick. So now I have all three files that I need to create my new site. So I got my Surface, TTM, my DXF, and my control file. So what I'll do next is I'll start up SCS 900 and I'm going to create a new project, new site, and I'll call this Champions Club. Phase 6. All this stuff looks good. Hit next. And I'm going to select that control point file. So I'm going to put a check mark in that box and come down to where it says file name CSV. Put a, my cursor in here. It's going to browse to the C drive by default, but I have a USB stick plugged in to my controller. So I'm going to go to the E drive. And there's that CSV that I just created. Hit accept. And that's all I really need here to set up my site. I don't have a site cal yet. I don't have a site map. That's not where I want to put my my map. I have a, a design map that I want to create later. So all I need to set up the site right now is my CSV control point file. So I'm going to say finish. And new work order by default. I have to create a new one. So I'll call this stakeout. Hit finish. And then this is where I want to grab the other two files. So new design, and I'll just call this FG for now, finish grade. Select my design file. It's going to go back out to the stick, my E drive, and you can see that it's specifically looking for the TTM. So there it is. Hit accept, and a check mark in this box, and it's looking for the AutoCAD DXF. There's the one that I got. Hit accept. I'm going to leave the stakeout points blank and hit finish accept okay it's gonna automatically take me out to set up my receiver which that will do if we don't want to do that right away just hit cancel and it will bring us out to make sure we loaded everything properly so here's the site that we have you see the control points that are here there's the six of them the little triangles if I want to look at the point names I hit the gear turn on the point names hit accept and you can see there's my 180 through 185 and I'm ready to calibrate the site.